Hi, how are you going? I'm from iTech World and today I'll be showing you how to use the new iTech World Satellite Finder. That's the box there for it. Uh, this is what the unit looks like. And it comes with its own instructions, as you can see. And that'll uh, show you how to use the satellite meter to actually line up to the Optus C1 satellite. That's predominantly what we're using it for. You can use this for any satellites. It's very sensitive. It's got a built-in compass as well to show you the directions. It's got a, um, a buzzer button, so you can actually turn the buzzer on and off. And the buzzer will let out a high-pitched squeal when you've actually found the satellite. And the closer you get to the satellite, or the higher the signal, the higher the pitch of the tone. You can turn that on and off simply by pressing it. And there's a light button, so if you're operating it at night, you can actually have a backlight on there, which is great. On the side, there's a little um, adjustment there, and that's for the signal strength. You've also got attenuation buttons. So um, ideally, you want to have highest attenuation. You get it up to 100, and then you scale it back with this down to zero. Then you can start. This end here says satellite, so that goes to your satellite dish. It's a standard F-type connector, as you can see, to screw onto standard satellite cable. And the other side says receiver. That plugs onto the cable that goes to your satellite receiver. And this unit will actually get its power from the satellite receiver. So as long as your receiver is not in standby, you've actually got it turned on, and the LMB settings are correct, then your actual meter will power up. So we'll go outside now and uh, and get one of these going for up to C1. Let's uh, have a look at the satellite meter. We've plugged it in. This end here goes to our satellite receiver, and this other end goes to our actual satellite dish. You'll notice that it says zero at the moment. So we're going to adjust the dial on the side. Switch the light on. Turn the light on, and you can hear the buzzer as well going. So with the attenuation all the way up, you see it only goes up to 55%. That means it's on the lowest setting. So straight away we want to turn this up to the highest by pressing this button. The next level is 72, so that's the highest, as you can see. 85, and we can tell we're on the highest because as you scale it down it goes to zero. The next one is 99, that's the highest you're going to go. So we dial this down. anywhere really. As long as we can see a scale, we're supposed to go down to zero but just just on zero so that we can actually see when we move our dish we're going to get some sort of uh, deflection on the scale and the scale will actually move up. So we've got our satellite dish here on the ground as you can see and we're going to pan this over to the right and straight away you can hear the tone and you can see the scale has gone up to zero to 99 which is the highest it can go. So we're getting closer to the satellite. So we scale that down to almost zero again. Move it more to the right. And straight away we're up to 99 again. So using that little dial, turn it down just until we get to zero. Now it's very sensitive and it will find any satellite. So we, we go again. And see how it starts to drop now? I oh, know, we've got up to 199 again. So that's great. We're going to scale that down again and we'll keep going. And see how that's the highest we can go. Now, when I move the dish, it's not actually coming off zero, which, which indicates that that's the highest point you can actually get it. So now we're going to adjust the elevation. So we're still looking at the, the meter and we're adjusting the elevation. Oops. And it's gone down to zero. So we drop it back the other way. See how it's gone to 99? So we scale it down again, just to get to zero. And we go down a little bit more, and now it's gone to zero. So we go back up the opposite direction. Just loosen that. And that's the actual highest point we can go. At this point, we are on up to C1. We can't get any higher. And that's pretty much it. As you can see here, this shows we're on the Optus C1 satellite. 
so we've tuned the satellite dish in perfectly and I haven't even really looked at the compass to get the correct bearing. I've relied predominantly on that satellite meter which is extremely sensitive. First couple of times might be a little bit hard to use but as you use it you become very fast at it like how I was doing it and uh, that's it we're on the C1 satellite and the, the satellite dish is specifically tuned into that.